Iran is claiming a significant breakthrough in its quest to become a nuclear power. The Iranians say they've produced, for the first time, a nuclear fuel rod using uranium enriched on home soil. The development comes as Tehran shows off its military might in response to new Western sanctions. A day after America tightened sanctions, this was Iran's response. A new missile it says is capable of dodging radar detection. A Navy commander says it means Iran can now hit any target, any time. Last week, Iran threatened to close this strategic oil shipping channel in retaliation for sanctions over its nuclear program. There's been no repeat of that threat. But Iran clearly wants to show who's in control. The decision to test a um, missile is simply to engage in some sort of brinksmanship to show that in the event of any attack they would have retaliatory capabilities. Um, but it's also a gesture, a way of upping the pressure to make audiences in the West feel they should stay back. Iran looms large over the narrow Strait of Hormuz. One third of the oil shipped by sea will pass through this channel. The U.S. Navy's fifth fleet is based in nearby Bahrain. The Americans have said they won't allow world oil supplies to be disrupted. On the nuclear front, too, Iran is stepping up the pressure. State television announced a breakthrough in the country's nuclear laboratories. Scientists there say they've produced the first nuclear fuel rods using uranium enriched in Iran itself. Mixed messages from a country that was hinting it may be ready to resume nuclear talks. Ursula Malone, ABC News.